the city uh, called the most, uh, the fat, fat, fattest city in the world. Uh, just uh, 30 years old, yeah. they, they, they developed into a 10 million population city, yeah, and even more. And uh, that city is called, also called a special economic zone. And uh, we talk a lot, a lot about uh, the, how the central government grows inside the, the market economy. And uh, actually, very recently, uh, only yesterday, I, I get known that uh, what I'm going to talk about here, because we uh, witness a lot, a lot of behavior of the government inside the Anyang city, uh, which is uh, mostly about uh, the public art. <coughs> so uh, I would like to connect these two experiences, and Shenzhen Binan and APIP here, to talk about the uh, cultural industry in the lowly or highly developed cities and uh, uh, developing developed uh, countries. So uh, basically, um, ACZ, which is a special economic zone, was thought as a 1980s invention by uh, Deng Xiaoping to exemplify what is Chinese model. However, it is not a new thing historically, nor it is automotive contemporary. It, it can be taken as a strategy to amplify a city's geopolitical potential and used as a city's driving force. <coughs> But before the success of Shenzhen, Guangzhou, as I show here, uh, uh, was an early city benefited from the one port policy for a long time in the Qing dynasty. <coughs> it was designated by the central government as the only city where international trade could be proceeded. Here you can see the old, uh, Asian Guangzhou city, surrounded by war, was totally um, surrounded further by the informal business. Um, which is proceeded in between the central government and the merchants sent by the central government and all the international merchants from all over the world. And later on, it has generated the most richest person, richest uh, merchant in Guangzhou, outside of Guangzhou, in the forms of many, many, many luxury gardens. <coughs> The policy actually concentrated all the resources of a continental country to a specific point, where a flooding development beyond the feudalism can be uh, was generated. <coughs> so here, as you can see, uh, uh, here is Guangzhou. Okay, this map has uh, go outside of the, the screen. What before? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. to make a full screen. So here is Guangzhou and uh, here is Macau. At that time, the, uh, the so-called special zone was actually a nexus between this city, which is um, uh, SEZ by the Qing Dynasty Central Government, and uh, Macau, which is uh, a Portuguese uh, colonial city. <coughs> Oh, shit. Okay. <clears throat> so uh, all the business was going on under strict uh, super supervision of the government and carried out by the so-called red cap merchants, uh, whose wares were of course red capital. It was early uh, early case of pla planning capitalism in which central government played a patriarchal role in the game of laissez-faire. So as you can see here, there are uh, in the uh, plaza of the most um, uh, prosperous uh, trading street of Guangzhou. Uh, the people on the street mostly are actually from the government. <coughs> it was under this trading system that the number one billionaire of the world at that time was a Chinese, whose name is Wu Bingjian, uh, the Asian beer gaze of the world. The Opium War changed the geopolitics of PRD. The or, uh, original gravity in PRD was Guangzhou Macau. Yeah, as we can see from this map, it is on the uh, west wing of PRD. <coughs> An axis between the pre-SEZ, uh, special economy zone, and the pre-SAR. SAR means a special administrative region. Now it was turning the axis on the east side of PRD because of Hong Kong. <coughs> Hong Kong was, uh, was here, and uh, it was on the east wing of PRD. 
So people think one country, two systems were invented by Deng Xiaoping in the 1980s, but I think it was actually designed by Mao Zedong. After the Communist Party took over China in 1949, he could have easily took over Hong Kong as he, took, uh, as he had took over Shanghai. However, he intended to keep the capitalism port as a special zone, which wrote as a secret window of communism China to the world within the blocked global environment in the 1950s because of China's engagement into the Korean War. So Mao's experience of a special zone came from his practice in Yan'an, which, uh, which was a special zone of politics instead of an economy in the 1930s and the 1940s. The Northwest city became so prosperous because of the widely propagandized belief in communism. The Yan'an was abandoned and left low developed after Mao uh, promoted communism to the rest of China in the 1950s uh, uh, when uh, the Communist Party <coughs> took over the rest of China. It was simply no longer special. However, Hong Kong became even more special because, uh, because of the Yan'anization in the mainland. It became another Guangzhou benefited greatly from one part policy. So all those red capped enterprises secretly supported by Beijing central government could be easily distinguished uh, on the facade of the city in the leftism movement in 1960 Hong Kong. So as, as you can see from this picture, this is a 1960 Hong Kong. This, this building is actually a building called China Merchants Bureau Building. Here has, an, has the title. And on the top of the building is a long life Chairman Mao. So it is very weird at that time to see a portrait of Chairman Mao on the facade of a capitalism city in Hong Kong. The China Merchant Bureau, as you can see from the last picture, was originally set up by Li Hongzhang, as you can see here, who was a promoter of a foreign affairs movement in the late Qing Dynasty. The communism inherited this enemy's heritage and used it in Hong Kong as a plan B. It explained why communism China was never stopped exporting resources to Hong Kong, even during the most difficult time of China in the 1960s. The economic crisis caused by the failure of Mao's experiment, <coughs> which was called later uh, Great Leap Forward, resulted in a massive amount of secret store ways on the borderline between Shenzhen and Hong Kong. So this is a, a mimic by a photographer, a uh, friend of mine, who uh, we appear, uh, really present the, the, the scene, the dangerous scene of the, uh, the Cantonese uh, swimming across the borderline to Hong Kong from Shenzhen.